this is the story of the lowly schnitzel bunk, the wood counter's bench, and how it endeared itself to children all over the world one long ago Christmas Eve. It's an old, old story, remembered only by a few Grossvaterin in the Bavarian Alps. But it's a wonderful story, and here is the way my own grandfather told it to me. On that Christmas Eve, long, long ago, everything was almost ready at Santa's toy tender for the North Pole. The little reindeers bore the ground anxiously in their stalls. Santa's dwarf helpers were as busy as beavers, filling the great pack of Santa's sleigh with beautiful, bright and shining toys. It was all very exciting. But unknown to Santa and his helpers, a terrible thing was happening in Toyland. A mean old witch from the Black Forest had disguised herself as one of Santa's helpers. And then when no one was looking, she sneaked into Toyland and hid behind the reindeer barn. She had a wicked plan to spoil Christmas Eve for all the good little children all over the world. And now the time had come. Quietly, she opened the door to the reindeer barn. Slowly, she crept around the stalls until she was standing right in front of Dancer and Prancer, Dunner and Blitzen and all the other 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 and Blitzen. Quick as a flash, she turned herself into a big, bad, and very hungry-looking wolf. She sprang at the deer. Now, of course, reindeer are very much afraid of wolves. And the sight of the witch wolf so startled and frightened them that they flew out of their barn and across the sky like rockets. And so it was, when Santa came to see if they were ready for their trip around the world, he couldn't find a single reindeer. He called and called, and he looked everywhere, but no dancer, no prancer, not even a Rudolph. My goodness, thought Santa, this is a pretty kettle of sauerbraten. He trudged back to the toy shop, and his usually jolly face was very sad. Oh, what shall I do, he sighed, as he looked around the toy shop where all the little dwarf helpers were busy putting the finishing touches on the last batch of toys. It looked like there would be no Christmas joy for the children this year. But then, Santa saw one of the elves in a far corner sitting on a woodcarver's bench, painting a toy reindeer head. And suddenly, a wonderful idea came to him. Is das nicht ein Schnitzelbank? He called to the dwarf. Yeah, das ist ein Schnitzelbank. Replied the curious dwarf. And his big round belly shook up and down as Santa roared with laughter because he knew he had found a way to make all the children happy after all. <laughs> oh, laughed Santa. Bring me a schnitzel bunk. Then he and his helpers fastened a toy reindeer head on every schnitzel bunk, and he hitched them in front of the sleigh. Now he was almost ready. He dashed back into the toy shop, and quick as a flash, he was back waving the magic wand from Cinderella's fairy godmother. Then he touched each Schnitzelbank reindeer lightly with a wand. And he roared, North Pole, South Pole, East and West, now come to life and do your best. And because it was Christmas Eve, they came to life. Santa just had time to jump into his sleigh as up, up, 
up into the sky they climbed. And so it was that eight little Schnitzelbank reindeer, the sleigh full of toys and Santa Claus, carried joy around the world that long, long ago Christmas Eve.